Hi, my name is Peter Anderson and I work with Poseidon headquarters in Sweden and I am the factory trainer of the company. The E-module is tightened by two bolts at the top and if you lose them and they rattle like this then they are ready to detach. So make sure they are rattling. Take a firm thumb under the contacts here and pull a little bit. And then we pull on the battery compartment like this. So here is the E-module. On the E-module we have the sensors, the oxygen sensors that you should put into the system. This is the adapter and the adapter comes off with your nails on the edge and you just pull them off like this. Not harder than that. The oxygen sensors, they come in a box, or two boxes. Um, there is a date that you should be aware of, that you should not use the oxygen sensors that has expired. Inside the box, we have the two cells. And it's the same here, we have a date here on the side. They come with a contact side and a threaded side. The threaded side fits on the adapters. So we tighten it a little bit like this. We have a little cable here and a contact. And there is an align pin, the white here, on the contact. You make sure that the alignment fits right. Then we put the cell in and we should hear a little click. You can see here on the adapter that there is a flat side on the top. This flat side goes on top here. So we put the contact in like this this and then you can see that we can turn it so it doesn't fit if we don't put the flat side on top. This is the primer cell. This is the one that is most backwards or the farthest away from you. So this is the primary cell and this is the secondary cell. That is good to know when you're doing the course or when you're trying to find out if something is wrong with the machine. We push the E-module in, in and we tighten the screws. Only finger tight. No tools should be used here.